The Council will now consider draft resolution L27 entitled Mandate of the Special Rapporteur on the Promotion and Protection of Human Rights in the Context of Climate Change. Many more countries have recognised that climate change is a relevant discussion in every UN agency, in every institution. It's the business of everyone. And so we have seen proportionately with the increasing numbers of small states. In the Council, we have seen an increased focus. One which recognised the, um, the right to a healthy, safe and sustainable environment. And the second was the creation of a mandate for climate change and human rights. And both are incredibly significant for the world. Of course, they're very important to small island states, particularly in the Pacific. But they are significant for the whole world. And the fact that there was such an overwhelming level of support for both resolutions, I think, really indicate an increasing consensus that this is an important conversation in the context of human rights. I spoke a little earlier about the recognition of the right to a healthy environment. That did not start off as a consensus conversation, nor did the conversation on the creation of the mandate holder for climate change start off as a consensus conversation. But I think it was because there was a very inclusive conversation, there was a strong involvement by smaller states, uh, which are not connected to you know, any kind of big power brokers, um, and which really insisted on having this conversation that changed the nature of the discourse in the Council.